I literally never thought that this could happen in our day and age. Like, mm -hmm. how, how could slavery be happening now? I was outraged, and uh, I remember just thinking, like, I can't just walk away from this mm -hmm. and be unchanged or um, not do something about it. One day where I was just kind of thinking about, like, what else can I be doing? And the idea of merging my passion with coffee shops, mm -hmm. with fighting human trafficking, like, oh, I wonder if this could work. Work and like, find people who love you, love your mission, and will work hard to make it happen. Yeah. Right now, when you're starting out, you want people who will work alongside you to make things happen. I went through uh, people that I knew who really liked the idea of a second cup, but that had different skill sets. Motivate people, mm -hmm. and I think specifically with nonprofits, because you're working with a lot of volunteers, yeah. is that you have to know how to motivate people without kind of like holding something over them. Mm -hmm. And I think that's very similar to a classroom. Like you just mm -hmm. have to that's figure true. out individual people and figure out how to teach if yeah. those individuals is motivated, keeping people engaged, right, um, and keeping them excited about what you're doing. And I have to keep volunteers and donors and just uh, consistently invested, consistently right? Yeah, invested, yeah. Give you two things. Okay. The first one is timing. Um, I was over ambitious in my mind. You know, like you have to have patience to have endurance. The other thing is delegation. So I like to do things myself. I'm a control uh -huh. freak. I feel like I'm better at managing people than I am at actually delegating to people. We've had several people who have come up to us and told us that the course of their lives have changed because of what has happened in our shop. The other thing is kind of a little bit less tangible employees and volunteers referring to a second cup as we like you know like they're owning it like this is this is my thing too I mean obviously the goal is that everyone is free and everybody is rehabilitated to right. live and be productive members of society mm -hmm. that organizations are strategically working together okay. to fight human trafficking do you want customers because of the mission or because they really like the coffee that's a great question, and I would say both. Okay. The exciting thing about a second cup is that people can come for the mission and learn about coffee. Yeah. So, yeah. so yeah, so we are committed to having all of our profits going to specifically aftercare resources for survivors. The reason I started a second cup in the first place was that I wanted our funds to support aftercare. Okay. Um, and so that's what we're focusing on. Um, some of those funds will be filtered into work that we do here, so like providing like GED classes or ESL classes or counseling and mentoring and things like that um, that we can do on site. Um, but there are other things like housing and medical care and child care that we can't really provide. And so um, then we'll be giving our we're giving our profits to organizations who do provide those things.